whoops, Ace Dampers, Skeiner again. Um, we get a little challenge every week in one of my friend's uh, pages and this week was an Aperture card, which is basically this. I'm going to show you mine. It looks like a whole card, but I've cut the centre out and stuck it in the back. I thought it was lovely. And I've got my branch stuck on the side here, and then I ran the other little branch out of the colourful uh, seasons. So it looks like a continued branch when the card is closed. Um, I used this one in Sweet Chugger Plum, stamped several times to get the fade in. And believe it or not, I used these in the Lemon Lime Twist and these. Just cut them down just to give a little bit of green all round. So, uh, but a lady asked Stormy her nickname is uh two seconds I'll tell you now um Gina Marie Howard sweetheart I'm gonna it is a bit confusing with the stamens um I've done these flowers without cutting out the centers this time but I've also added to my block the stamen that goes with each flower I have gone ahead and cut die cut all my flowers out because of the big shot, but I have got to lift it up now for the circle. But these stamens go in the centres, and I'm going to show you how each one fits perfectly. Um, there's an arrow on the top of that flower, follows there, and that stamen is, if you look right through, you can see where the stamen will go. Um, but you've got to match the stamen with the flower. So that one goes with this flower. <laughs> Can you see? Uh, this is the one with, it looks like the flower is laying down. And that stamen goes with that. If you pop the stamen, same way as the arrow goes on there. And you'll see where the stamen goes on the flower. I personally am not fussed on the stamen. <laughs> it's a bit too long and gangly for me. But again, there's an arrow on there and there's an arrow there. Pop, make sure that this bit is in the center of the flower and line up the arrows. And as long as you stamp the flower in the same direction as you stamp your stamen in the center of the flower, you'll always get it bob on, if you know what I mean. So match your stamen with your flower Keep them on the same block and then you can use, as long as you've got the arrows right, you can, will always get your stamen right. So, I'm going to do a couple of the stamens, but I've already cut, like I'm saying, my flowers out. But I'll show you one or two now. Like I say, I'm not fussed on the stamens. I just love the flowers. Um, but on this one, it works lovely. Um, and I, do, I did like it. Um... So I'm going to stamp a few of those. But this is the card we're going to make. Um, I have die cut my branch out as well. And I'm just going to do the circle now on the front of the card with you. So I'm going to pop that up there. In two seconds, I'm going to pop the light and it's just going dark. <laughs> That's better. I can see what I'm doing now. <laughs> So, like I'm saying, I'm going to do the stamens. I have already done the flowers. Um, and I used uh, Flirty, uh, Pickaboo Peach, Blushing Bride, um, Pill Party, Marina Mist, and Sweet Sugar Plum. So, I'm going to pop them to one side. First of all, we're going to fetch in our basic card. The stock is 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4.25. And now we're going to fold our card and burnish. Don't have to do that. You could have put the, and I'm using the stitch circles, the largest of the stitch circles to cut my aperture out. Um, I've, I've got to open the card back up again anyway, just so I can get my stitch circle on. And it is, like I say, the largest 
in the set. And I know you won't see the stitching until you close the card because the stitching's on the inside, but isn't that a lovely idea? So you can write your message. And if you squeeze this one, it did stay shut earlier, but it goes fine for your envelope. So I'm going to fetch up the big shot. I know I shouldn't. Not with my back the way it is. Oh, God, there's a weight. But it's only for the circle, so I can show you what to do. My darling husband popped it up for me earlier to do the flowers. Um, so you can do this anywhere on here you want. But I recommend keep your distance equal there, there and there to give you the perfect. Uh, and I've got the magnetic plate on anyway, so I don't need to tape it down or anything. Uh, make sure your boards are clean because any glitter will get embedded into your card. Um, and then through we go. And I always come back on myself. I don't know why I just do. So isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. He's going to kill me actually when I do tell him I've lifted this up. He said, wait till I come back. And he's just popped out. <laughs> but I'm an impatient lady. I can't wait. So I am going to now. You don't have to put that circle back in there. But I just loved the way it looked inside my card when I added it together. And this time I'm using a multiple colours of flowers um i did like i don't i do love all that one color and it reminds me of cherry blossom for some reason it's beautiful um and i only added a rhinestone to the full of flowers the other little ones i, I didn't well, we'll see what happens with this one. Oh, and by the way i did take a piece of soft suede as well to cut my branch out I don't normally buy these brown colours, but that is absolutely beautiful. And if you didn't have any, uh, what I suggest is get a piece of whisper white, grab your ink pad, open it, flick it open and click. And then using the edge, just drag it across your paper. Uh, leave it to dry, cut out and then... Um, just roll it around or, or sponge the ends so you don't see any white that way and you'll still get a soft suede um, piece of cardstock. So that's my branch. I can pop that to one side. Let's get our card fetched back in now. And I'm going to put some fast views on the back because I don't want it coming off. Oh. I think that's just come to the end. I have got a refill. I do love this stuff. I've never been, I never bought it before until I needed to go somewhere. Is that empty? Yeah, I think it is. I think it's dead and buried that one in the water. Yes. So, very easy. Just pulls out. Ah, uh, have I just lost something? No. Um. Ah. Is it going that way? Yeah. It just slides back in. I think it just clicks into place. Oh, look, I've got a little pearl. Got a hitchhiker. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that lovely? I think it gets stuck on there. No way. Right, I'm going to pop that to one side now. I am going to dust off my card. 
I'm going to insert my circle back where it was. Perfect, lovely. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna add this first. So I'm only putting glue down this one branch and on the tip of there. So it's like that. Because this is gonna hang free, but I'm gonna just glue the tip. This one's gonna be so and this one is gonna obviously not have glue on or the back of here. So the card opens. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> I'm loving this. I've got a bundle on this set for some reason. We used it over the weekend in Birmingham and it was divine. So I'm going to hold this little branch because I know I don't want any on there. I'm going to put the tiniest little bit on there and then thinly glue just this one branch. And I'm loving this saying as well, um, life is a beautiful thing and I think we all need to take this on board, everyone in the world, life is a beautiful thing and we don't need to be wasting it. Whoops, smudge. I've got a tiny little bit of adhesive on my card there. But I've got an adhesive remover, and that too as a hitchhiker. Just got it off. It might work out easier to let that dry for. Lucky pop I am. And the card I did yesterday with the colour theory. Not therapy, I do apologise. My head was in the shed last night. So, isn't that beautiful? That branch has wrapped itself around. And then we're going to make sure our flowers float all the way round. And what colour should we do this? I'm going to pop my little branch on first. And bring in my soft suede. I want to carry that branch on so I'm going to basically stamp there I'm getting very creative just lately <laughs> I try oh I just squirted all that over my finger oh let me grab a baby wipe otherwise it's going to end up everywhere Um, so I'm killing two birds with one stone. I am going to show you how to do the statements for that, for uh, Gina Marie. Gina Marie, yeah. And I'm also making the card at the same time, so I'm not going to... Otherwise I would have made one video just to show that, um, her how to do that. But we could all have a little practice anyway, so make sure you've got the tips right. Do apologise if my head comes into shot. I just want to line that up with my Isn't that cute? And don't worry about the gap there, it's gonna get filled with a flower, but look, that is running straight on. So it looks like the whole branch. It will look even better in a moment when we have stamped our flowers. So what colour should we do? Because I'm used, I've got Dapadena, uh, I've got, which is not being used in this video. <laughs> that must be out from yesterday. Um, what do you reckon? We've got Pickaboo Peach, Marina Mist, Blushing Bride. Let's add one more colour. What about some Wisteria Wonder? Where, oh, there we are. I can I just... Yeah, let's add some purple as well. So we've got purple, blues, pinks and peaches. How nice. What is that going to look? Let me 
me just check. Oh my god, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. And again, I want to line up my dots and my flower. And my branch. And I know it's going through there. But when the card is closed, you can see it. Oh, or should I just... I'm going to go back and open. That card, that's my little... And I'm just going to go back over that flower. Oh, isn't that pretty? Lovely. So, that's our other splash of colour. And I'm just going to set that aside, let it dry a little bit. I will put, um, stamp a couple of the flowers and show that lady, sorry, G Gina Marie. <laughs> How could I like a sieve, darling? Please don't hold me to it. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple and I'm going to do them in the pick a piece. So I love this colour and it stands out very nice. So I'm, I'm going to do the large flower. I'll do one of each, but I will show you. Making sure your arrow is pointing up. Stamp your flower. It's just a scrap piece of Whisper White. And then stamp your flower on there. And with the stamen now, making sure that's going upwards, bring in your black ink of your choice. This is my fave. Um... Yes, right there. Now I've got it that just right. So place the dot in the centre of the flower. And press. Isn't that pretty? Oh, actually, it does quite look quite nice. Oh, right. Leave said scrap alone. Fetch these in. These are all this shape. And I know roughly which way they go. Because I can just follow mine. Punch, stamp, um, they go that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. <sighs> oh, that's that way. I'm just going to put the stamen on all of them. And that way. Just making sure the long ones are pointed up and down. <laughs> so that's that one done. I'm going to close that now a little bit. Right now. <sighs> They're done. I'm going to put them to one side just for a moment. I'm fetching my other little flowers. And these have got a different stamen again. Um, this little flower and this is the stamen for those. You can see it going up that petal, that petal, and along this side. So, I'm now going to take that off. 
I fetch this stamen in and because these sit flat I know which way they go so I'm just going to stamp them on there quickly. Oops, I've only got four of these ones there anyway so. <laughs> and then I'll show you the last one. Lovely. I'm going to pop them out as well. We're going to be using them on the card. So, and this, I've got a couple of extras of these. You, you may not use them all, so just bear with me. Oh, I've only got one pool party of that. Um, oh, that one is off that one. So, I need this little one back. that one goes with those yay right I'm gonna fetch the other stamen in now which is this flower as I showed arrow there arrow there and it lines up there and this now is going to go in the center of each of those flowers and you'll see because you don't want to be stamping off your petals So I've got some ink on that would help. That does look, look quite nice actually, and uh, me saying I'm not fussed on the steam, and now they're growing on me <laughs> like they are on my flowers. Oh, another one. I have one of those flowers, so I'll fetch this one back. We're going to try and use up, I put all the flowers in different group orders as well because, so I could show you how those stamens went, so I can wash all them now later. There we go, and right, now for our sentiment, we've got to choose a lovely colour for that. Um... Do I do Marina uh, Wisteria Wonder? Or oh, I tell you what, because it's a multiple, uh, multi-coloured card, I'm going to do this in black with my beautiful black tuxedo ink. And I don't know if you can hear, my husband's just come back. Faffing around in the lounge, he is. <laughs> but I know I should be using my piercing mat, but... My pad is really thick, so. and I got a gorgeous imprint of that. Then it's beautiful. I'm gonna pop that away. Oh my god, I'm loving this color. <laughs> I don't know. I guess to, my parcels are coming tomorrow. All my new stuff. Whoop whoop. Can't wait. <laughs> so now you're gonna need your stamping dimensionals. I wish I'd have done this card tomorrow because I've got the the new mini 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 uh, stampy dimensionals coming as well. Can't wait to see how cute they are. So tiny little pieces. Thank goodness for scissors and these end pieces. They're marvelous. So just cut tiny little pieces. Most of these flowers now are going to be floating around the edge of that aperture. So. I'll just start off with that. If you didn't any more, we can always cut some more. So I am going to grab my pierce and till so I only pick up one piece at a time. Squash it down. And I'm just going to add them. I know I'm going to use all these large ones because there's not too many and there's two there stuck together. <laughs> And I'm going to peel my backings off ready. I nearly turned it over then, didn't see that. <laughs> Got a right husky voice today, sound like Bonnie Tyler. Oof. Shame I can't sing. <laughs> I won't even want to try. You'd all 
You don't flick over the channel as fast as you put it on. <laughs> and I love karaoke, so, but that's a different story. Oh, little bugger, I got two together there. And it's stuck to my finger. So, I'm going to add some of these. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I don't know how to do that fast forwardy stuff and I don't like it anyway because I think if I was chops in a way doing the fast forwardy thing you wouldn't understand what I was saying for one and two I think it's a little bit ignorant we want to watch how you do it we don't care if we're watching you repeatedly do something I want to see you do it all and it gives us a chance to chat well, for me to gab on as well, as usual. But uh, I'm loving my swaps. And I'm, I am thinking of doing a few of them, casing them, and just jussing them up a bit, making them my own. Um, or just borrowing the idea. And then turn it into something I've made. Now, this is why we come on and do these swaps and shares and... Um, so we can help inspire others to do the same. And I love it. I love the fact that I could help somebody else. I think that should be plenty now. So I'm, I'm going to add them to one more. I don't care. I'll find a way of getting them on there. You can't have too many flowers. I'm loving it. And it's only the tiniest little bit you need. Even that tiny little bit, as you just saw, gets stuck to everything. We're nearly done, and then we're going to start creating this wonderful card. Well, that's a big bit. Oh, it is. Oh, well, as long as you can't see it. On the reverse side of the card. Get that two more and then we can start building this card. I'm putting this on towards the top. Right. There we go, pop that to one side. Right, oh, gee, look up. Even that's pretty. So, I'm just going to stand my gorgeous card up. I am going to pop one of these on here. Ah, no, 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 you're not gaming. You've done that wrong. <laughs> Trust me. I know why, because it's my... Oh, it's in the... I've ruined that piece, so I'm going to fetch my other one in. There, there's my tear piercing tool. And this now is going on here. So it's stuck to... That one's the old one, so you, and you can't see it really, and it's not going to get stuck. So, that one is going on there. I'm hiding on to there. Aren't they beautiful? Gorgeous colours. I think that's really pretty. I'm hiding a peach one here, and it doesn't really matter with these ones. You're just building and building and building. And uh, space these ones out evenly. And then we're going to fill in in between. Oh, isn't that pretty? Napam. Oh, I've got another one. 
Oh, I'll leave that one there for a moment because I don't want overkill. So. As long as these now don't trail too far over the edge. So my dimensional is on the card but not on the back showing. Oh my god, these are such beautiful colours, all these together. And they're pretty. in this blue. Oh. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh wow, that is just so pretty. Taking that one off again as well because I need another one. I want this right at the top. Um, oh god, my stomach's is rumbling like that. <laughs> wow. I want this right at the top. What I've done is I've stamped Oh, I should have come down a little bit more into the corner but I'm just going to gather these up now I told you we wouldn't have nothing to waste but then I'm hiding my branch <laughs> I don't care. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Right, I'm going to fetch a few little gems in. Again, I'm only adding them to the full flowers. And then I'm going to randomly add 